going in trades. Well, global markets head into this last week of November uh, and a bit of a high note, so the Dow Jones hit three-month highs. US dollar does uh, continue to decline there down to three-month lows. Also the VIX, the fear index, the multi-year lows there with a the 12 handle. Uh, going ahead, the week ahead, um, some of the charts I'll be watching, the Euro US will be an important one. Uh, we saw that drift a bit higher last week, um, did take that important 109 level, which is a, a big psychological level. Got some big figures inflation-wise from Europe and the US that could see um, some volatility in that pair, starting with Spanish and German inflation on Wednesday, and followed by the Fed's uh, favorite inflation gauge, the PCE reading on Friday. So key levels to watch, uh, 109 level, there was a lot of chop around that level last week. Uh, and the resistance to the upside there at 110.65, uh, gold saw a positive week um, as the bulls really took advantage of, of a weaker US dollar and yields pretty much went nowhere for the week too. Um, but did try, let's say USD did make two attempts to breach that October high resistance at 2009 last week, but rejected both times. So we enter the new week with our gold again drifting higher, looking to maybe test that level again. That would be the key level to watch. Um, if we can get a break of that level on a hold, then the next obvious technical resistance really is that uh, 2067 uh, level there, which is um, the high was in May. 1962 will be the, the level to watch the downside of support. Uh, oil, crude oil, crude oil, I mean, it enters this week of, after five down weeks in a row, um, just sitting above 75 US dollars a barrel. So this one's an interesting week though, with the delayed OPEC plus meeting taking place on Thursday. Um, possibility that the Saudis and Russians could extend or deepen their voluntary curbs uh, to support the crude price. There's also a smaller possibility that no changes are made and we'll see further downward pressure on, uh, on crude. Could see it testing that major support at $67 US a barrel at some stage if that's the case.